The piece has undergone probably no less than four or five different restoration campaigns. Part of the goal of this process is to preserve some of those earlier restorations. What we're actually looking at in a way is, is a piece that represents almost the history of trying to preserve a piece of art. One of the biggest problems these pieces have is that they're extremely dirty. It's been interesting as our cleaning has progressed that we are actually unveiling the sculpture. I've noticed veins in the hand appear. Very subtle shading of the form is starting to come alive. The process actually started with me cleaning areas where pieces of the base of Apollo had been detached and then stuck back in place with a combination of acrylic resins that I modified by adding calcium carbonate. I put fume silica in, trying to adhere to the goals of conservation that somebody came along after me could easily remove anything that I had done. I'm thinking through the whole process as I'm looking at a piece. I can visualize what something will look like after it's treated. Could we make it look as though nothing had ever happened? Yes. Will we? No. But the visitor coming to the museum is going to be able to appreciate the whole object and take it in as a sculpture rather than bits of marble here and there and cracks and breaks. They will see a unified whole. The expert will know it was conserved. I like the idea that when I do the treatment with my wife, we are preserving a bit of art history and that we may in fact uncover aspects of an object or a piece that was never apparent to the viewer. Uh, and that actually adds some context to the, uh, to the piece.